What's up guys, it's Josh back again with another video. We're out here getting ready for community night. It's gonna be lit, it's gonna be a good time. Here's the eight time. off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. How's everyone doing tonight so far? Good. good? All right, so tonight, like, like she said, we're going to explore explore the human mind and what is exactly possible with it. <laughs> unlike unlike our last trick, uh, this time it, we're just it's just going to take place in the minds of the volunteers. Jake, you want to explain it? Um, yeah. So first of all, uh, we got introduced already, but um, my name is Jake. I'm Josh. And together, uh, we're Jake and Josh. <laughs> But uh, tonight we're going to be performing a specific type of magic called mentalism. Um, and mentalism, it usually involves very few props and it involves kind of interactions between spectators' minds and the minds of the magicians. And there's two main types of mentalism. Uh, the first type involves reading people's thoughts, reading people's facial expressions, body language, um, subtle movements that can give you a clue into what they're thinking. Um, that's the first type. The second type of mentalism involves actually manipulating people's thoughts and influencing what they're thinking, placing images, placing feelings into the minds of your spectators. Um, so we're going to begin with a trick that Josh is going to perform that's going to be um, exploring the first type of mentalism, which is reading your thoughts. All right, like Jake said, tonight um, Everything that I do will be purely based on the facial expressions, the body language, whether you're leaning this way, twitches in the eyes. Everything will be reading actual body language to discern what they're thinking. So before I start, I need a volunteer. Um, <laughs> Also, also, before I start, I want all of you to see this empty envelope right here. Uh, we're we're going to get back to it later, okay? All right. Here is a, a shuffled deck of 52 playing cards. Every card is different. Every card is unique. Um, Rosa, what you're going to do in a second is you're going to choose one, okay? All right? As you can see, they're all different, right? Fair? Yep. All right, all I want you to do is I just want you to touch one. Don't let me see it. Okay, okay. just touch it. Don't pick it out. Okay. okay. No. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, do you want to keep going? No, no, I'm okay. You sure? Because yeah. in a second you're going to be like, what if I kept going? No, but it's totally up to you. It's totally up to I you. I think I'm pretty set on that card, actually. Okay. Yeah. I want you to look at that card and I want you to take it. I do not want to see it. Okay. Can you show everyone for me? Okay, I, I really don't want to see the card, but I'm going to walk back with a Sharpie. Can you, can you take this? Oh, she's over there. <laughs> Mark it. Sorry. Don't mark it. Don't mark it. What I want you to do, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be facing this way so there's no way I can see. Jake might even, yeah, Jake hit me with me with the blindfold. We're good? We're good. Okay. Um, Rosa, I want you to think of the name of somebody that's close to you. Somebody that you admire, somebody that you look up to, or maybe it could just be like a, a personal friend, but somebody that is important in your life. Think of their first name, like a short first name, something that could fit on the playing card. And when you have that name in your mind, when you're thinking of it, you're visualizing it, what I want you to do is I want you to take the pen, I want you to write on the face of the playing card, the card with the, the part with the value, nice and big, this person's name, okay? And let me know when you're done, and what? Nice and big so everyone can see it. Does everyone have the name? You good? Good? Okay, wow. I don't want to see the card. I'm not okay, I'll take the, the card. <laughs> take the card face down. Okay. Okay, everyone get one last glimpse of the card. No, I showed them all, it's fine. Good. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to have you do actually is you're going to hold on to the deck. Okay, you're going to hold okay. on to it in both of your hands right there. Hold on to it nice and tight so I can't okay. see it. Okay? Okay, so you thought of somebody's name. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's personal to you. Yes. Would, it say, uh, would you say it's somebody you look up to? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, is this, is this a more of a parental figure, or, or you'd say a friend? No, more like a friend. Okay, interesting. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to visualize the last interaction you had with this person. Okay. okay. Yep. When was this interaction? Um, well, a couple Was it well, today? It was, very, yes, was it today? It was today. Okay, um, what we'll do is, <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to visualize that interaction, okay? Every single okay. moment, I want you to visualize this person's face yeah. as you walked up to them and talked to them. Yeah. 
I want to visualize every single aspect of the moment. Give me a nice, clear mental image, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to imagine something, okay? Do you have this person's contact in your phone? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, I want you to imagine that this person is calling you, okay? Your okay. phone is buzzing in your pocket, it's ringing, everyone gets mad because her, her phone is dialing in the middle of an open room. She takes it out, she looks at the name, okay? Yeah. I want you to visualize what that name is on the screen, okay? Okay. Now I want you to shout that name in your mind, okay? Just shout it. Like, <laughs> like, like uh, Joey, Joey or something, just keep going. See, see how she's bobbing her head once at a time? See, like, if I were to say, like, Joey, right, my head would bob twice, right? But she's only bobbing her head once, which tells me that the name is only one syllable. Am I correct? Yes. I am correct, yeah. okay. Awesome. <laughs> now, now I want you to uh, look at me. I'm going to run through the alphabet, okay? I don't want you to give me any facial signals at all. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yeah. <laughs> so there's an A, there's an A in the, yeah. in the name? Mm -hmm. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, huh. there's a C too, isn't there? Okay, make this hard on me, Rosa, okay, please, okay. <laughs> what, would you say the, is, okay, don't, don't answer this question. Is the C towards the beginning or the end? Uh, beginning or the, don't tell me. Okay, so not to the beginning. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, okay. A B C D E F G H I J. K. Can you say H I J K for me? H I J K. So there's an I. Okay, awesome. Um, I think I think I have enough letters. Okay. Okay. Everyone knows this card. Everyone's thinking of that card, but I, I didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say it right here. You ready? It was a name that you were thinking of. The name you just just merely thought of. The name that you have, the the person you've been visualizing this whole time. Was it Claire? Yeah. It was. It was. That's awesome. You can return your seat, Rosa. Oh, but wait, Rosa, one more thing. Um, you picked a card, right? Do you remember what card that was? Yeah. It was the two of hearts, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, thank you. You can return your seat. <laughs> wow, everyone give it up for Josh. That was amazing. So um, that was the first type of mentalism. You could tell that Josh was able to read Rosa's thoughts based on her reactions to different cues. Now, the thing you might not have realized is that um, Josh and I have been choosing our words very carefully throughout this performance. Um, we've been choosing our words in such a way to suggest a particular image um, to all of you and to try to plant a particular image in your minds. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate what we've been working so hard on for the last five minutes. <laughs> that was a good joke! Why did you all laugh? I like that joke. Thank you. Um, so I have a deck of cards right here. It's in a metal clip to make it harder for me to access. And before the show started, I um, turned over one card face up in this otherwise face down deck of cards. And I'm gonna need someone to hold on to this for me during the trick. Here, I'm gonna run over here. Give it up for Lizzie. Lizzie, the second, um, I'm gonna have you come back up here. Not, not right now, but in a, in a couple of minutes. I just wanna make sure that's, that's good with you. All right. <laughs> so, Danny, um, 52 playing cards. Yeah? Name one. Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. Right? I'm sure you don't want the Ace of Spades. <laughs> three of Diamonds. Did I hear Three of Diamonds? Queen. Queen of Diamonds. Okay, the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> That was a pretty free choice, right? I, you just conjured up the Im image of a queen of diamonds in your head, just picked it. It's a sh shame you didn't pick something else. Um. <laughs> you can no. still change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, 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 you're good. Uh, Lizzie, will you come up here with that deck of playing cards? So remember at the beginning I said, um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Good job on the volunteer, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> now at this point, I will take the deck of playing cards. She doesn't trust you. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, you take the metal clip off. Um, now remember, I said that I was trying to influence you to think of a particular uh, image. Yes. All right. So I want you to notice that all the cards in this deck are face down, except for the Queen of Diamonds. Oh, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's so the other interesting thing. That's real. Yeah. I'm going to show it to you in a moment, but that's right. The other really interesting thing about this is that some people might be thinking, oh, he, you know, he's a magician. He probably used sleight of hand to slip that card in. I was definitely something. thinking that. Yeah. Uh, there's, and, and how would I prove that that was truly a prediction, that it was truly a unique card that just happened to be, happened to be, the card that Danny thought of. Well, this deck is blue. And this card is red. So there's truly no way that it couldn't have been any other card that Danny thought of. Don't worry, Jacob, you'll get your moment to shine. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed what Jake just performed. We have one final effect for you guys tonight. We're really excited about it. Jake, take it away. Oh. I've got a book here. Um, it's Aristotle's of Politics. Yeah! Um, I got it at the, the World Language Center, um, uh, which is in the yellow store. You can insert your own DS joke somewhere in here. <laughs> um, but in a moment, um, I'm going to need someone to come up and uh, join me on stage. Uh, so, for the third and final time, I have a volunteer. Josh, you want to take someone? Oh. Alec is our Alec. Yeah, we'll do Alec. We'll do Alec. Wow, it's a Froco night tonight. Hi, Alec. Hi. <laughs> Have you read this book? No. That's okay. I know, yeah. Um, so, in a moment, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you select a page. And the way we're going to do this is that I'm going to run um, down the side of the book. And wherever you say stop, we're going to bookmark that page, all right? Okay. So, um, tell me when to say stop wherever you like. Stop. Right there? Perfect. All right. So, the next thing I'm going to have you do is that I'm going to need you to look at the page and remember the page number mm -hmm. and the first word on that page. Can you do that for me? Yep. All right, I'm going to peek it to you so I can't see it in any way. Do you see that right there? Uh-huh. All right, perfect. You have that memorized in your brain? Oh, wait, can I see the word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. So you have the word and the... Uh, page number memorized in your brain. And there's no way I could see it, there's no way Josh could see it, there's no way probably anyone in the audience could see it either. So, now we're gonna go and um, I'm gonna read your mind. Okay. You ready? Sure. You wanna hold on to this book for me? Sure. All right, hold on to that. So, let's see here. Um, I want you to picture that page. I want you to picture the page number, I want you to picture the word, all right? Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so there's three numbers. There's, it's a three-digit uh, three number, the, the page number. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, so it's a three-digit page number. Great. Um, I'm working on my poker face. It's not working. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, it's not about the poker face. It's about the poker, poker shoulders, actually. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 6, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, um, 100s, um, should be page 152, is that yeah. good? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so you, you looked at page 152 in this book, now stay with me, right? I don't want okay. you to go anywhere, okay. and don't worry, you can, you can trust me, right, you, you, you have a kind of um, spectator magician dynamic here, I'm not yeah. going to abandon you in any okay. circumstance. <laughs> 
that is that the word? Abandoned? <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> abandoned is the word. So page one fifty two in the word is abandoned. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right, you guys. Yay! That's that's amazing. Oh wait. I don't. I don't really want to like hate on Jake or anything because he's kind of a fellow magician and I, I respect the guy, right? Um, all, all of that you just saw was, it, it was complete BS. Like none of that was real at all, okay? Because actually, I, I, hate, I hate to do this, but you thought Jake was performing the first type of mentalism, right? But in actuality, um, I was performing the second. Do you remember the envelope I handed out at the beginning of the performance? How, how absolutely crazy would it be if inside that envelope is a piece of paper with not only the page number written on it, but also the first word on that page that Alex just randomly chose? Now watch this, this is gonna happen very slow. Jacob, can you hold that envelope up in the air? Josh, that's a page from the book, Wait, but what Alec just looked at that book. Will you just listen to me? Alec, I said, what is the first word on the page? Abandon! Wow. <laughs> go, go to in that book and find page 152 for me. <laughs> Please find page 152. It should be in there somewhere, right? Because you just looked at it. You show everyone <laughs> My name is Jake. Uh, I'm Josh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>